Hello there future ACCAs, this is Vishnu Majay, a proud Fintrammer and I welcome you all to another session of the revision charts for the audit and assurance paper. So folks, in this session, we will be covering the topic of professional ethics and ethical threats. So when we talk about professional ethics, we have to first of all think about the five fundamental principles of ethics, isn't it? Which can be memorized using a mnemonic COPIP, C-O-P-I-P. C stands for confidentiality. Now, what, is, uh, what does confidentiality mean? It means that as auditors, we should not communicate any confidential or commercially sensitive information to uh, someone outside the audit team. Okay, folks, that's basically the idea here. However, we can do this if there is a professional right or duty to do so. Okay, folks, so that's basically what confidentiality is all about. And secondly, we have O, which stands for objectivity. And this is the fact that your professional judgment should not be influenced by any other external factors. Okay, folks, it should be unbiased. That's basically the idea here. And we have professional competence and due care, which basically means that your skills should be up to date and you should provide high quality services uh, to your audit clients. And we have I, which is basically integrity. And it stands for the fact that you have to be honest and straightforward in all professional relationships and you are required to act in public interest as well. And finally, we have professional behavior, which basically says that your behavior should not disrepute, disrepute ACC or any other professional body. Okay, folks? So this is basically the basic five fundamental principles of ethics. Now let's take a look at the ethical threats that can have occur as well. Okay, folks? So when it comes to the ethical threats, there are a few things that you should consider here. Yet again, we uh, we could memorize this using another uh, mnemonic that is S SAFE or S S A I F. So the first S stands for self interest threat. This particular threat occurs when you have a financial or any other interest within the uh, audit client as an auditor or audit firm. Okay, folks. And there are also several other uh, you know uh, instances where the self interest threat can occur as well. So we may have, you know, we have learned all these, uh, you know, examples of these instances throughout our course as well. So please go through those once again, just to just so that you have a strong knowledge in these areas as well. And then we have the next S, which is basically self review threat as well. So self review threat is the is basically the threat that you will be reviewing your own work and the problem with that is you won't be or you will be a bit reluctant to provide out to provide honest opinion regarding any errors that have been conducted within that work, isn't it? So that's basically why you should not review your own work, isn't it? So an example of the situation can be uh, an area where, uh, let's say that as an audit firm, you have provided, let's say, tax services to a particular client and now you're acting as auditors. Now, in this particular instance, you are reviewing your own tax related work when conducting the audit, isn't it? So that could give rise, give rise to a self-review threat. Okay, folks, so this is basically what a self-review threat is. And then we have the next threat that is uh, A, A which stands for advocacy threat as well. So what is advocacy threat? This is basically when you represent, promote or negotiate for the audit client in front of another third party. Okay, folks, an example, in example instance would be when you represent the client in front of, a, let's say, bank, for various financial, uh, you know, related activities for the audit client, isn't it? So that's basically an, uh, an instance where advocacy threat can arise. And then there is also the next ethical threat that is intimidation threat, okay, folks. So this is basically when the management or the audit client pressurizes or psychologically, you know, pressurizes the particular auditors to meet several deadlines or anything like that, okay, folks. So that's basically the uh, idea behind intimidation threat. And finally, we have familiarity threat. And this is due to the close relationships that any of the audit team members would have with the uh, audit client. For example, if your immediate family member works within the audit client, then there is a familiarity threat and you would be uh, you know, replaced with another staff within the audit team, isn't it? And of course, there are also several other rules as well. For example, if you have uh, as an audit partner, if you have completed a tenure of seven years, and you are planning to audit the client yet again, then there would also be a uh, familiarity threat as well, isn't it? So these are basically some example instances where a familiarity threat can occur as well. You folks, so these are basically the ethical threats. That is, uh, we have self-interest threat, self-review threat, 
एडवोकेसी थ्रेट इंटीमिडेशन थ्रेट एज वेल एज फेमिलियरिटी थ्रेट एज वॉ की फोक्स सो दैट्स बेसिकली वट वी विल बी कवरिंग इन दिस मोर सेशन हाउ एवर वी विल बी कवरिंग अबाउट मोर एंड मोर यू नो की एग्जामिनेबल टॉपिक्स इन दी नेक्स्ट फ्यू सेशन एज वर्म हाउ एवर टू दैन दिस इज विश्व जय साइनिंग ऑफ Thank you.